Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday the 8th of July. I heard a piece on the radio earlier in the week. It was about a writer who had asked people to put pen to paper or more likely in the modern world finger to keyboard to describe their experiences of lockdown during coronavirus. The twist was that it had to be a short poem, really short, ideally in the form of a Japanese haiku. That's a little three-line poem composed of only 17 syllables altogether. Five in the first line, seven in the second, five in the third. It doesn't give you much room to be expansive. And that's exactly the way the writer wanted it. She didn't want long, in-depth, blow-by-blow, pour-your-soul-out accounts. Instead, she wanted short, sharp snapshots that captured a thought, an insight, a truth, a moment. And that's just what she got. She received a fantastic response of all sorts of perspectives, from the pedestrian to the profound, from the silly to the spiritual. One in particular captured my attention. It said, I haven't got fit, but I've got kinder. Surely that's what matters. If you remember last week I talked about how kindness is an overlooked theme in the Bible and how I hoped we could emerge from coronavirus showing more of it. So this little haiku hit the nail on the head for me. In a way, it seems to me that this project has created a verbal mosaic from different dimensions of lockdown. In this, each little haiku or poem or short reflection becomes a tile in the overall picture. Now, I wonder if we can do something similar on the theme of kindness in the time of coronavirus. I'll tell you what we'll do. Give the theme some thought. Then write your own haiku or short poem or really, really brief observation or description about kindness. It could be about something you've seen or experienced. It could be about your hopes for the future. Remember, it doesn't have to be a perfect haiku. When you've finished, send it to me and we'll then have a bandside verbal mosaic on the theme of kindness. Get those to me by next Monday night if you can. As they used to say on TV shows, here's one I made earlier. It's based on an actual event, as they say at the start of some movies. And it says, A ring at the door, rhubarb left by a neighbour, distanced kindness. So, Get creative and get working. I look forward to worshipping with you on Sunday. Until then, let me leave you with this. It's the opening line from a prayer by one of the leaders of the early church as it spread around the eastern Mediterranean. It says, Kindness flows from you, O Lord, pure and continual. I'm really glad some voices in the first centuries of Christianity grasped the importance of kindness and hope that we can too. God bless. Bye for now.